and welcome to the very first episode of Something's Not Right Tonight. I'm Jeffrey Jackson, and I'm sitting here with you guys tonight uh, in a kind of unfortunate series of events. Uh, as we all know, the virus is uh, kind of spread around here, and um, I'm in California along with the other guys from uh, Something's Not Right Studios, and uh, things have shut down pretty much everywhere so we're not able to get together we're just starting the new youtube channel and um now we are kind of in a rut so i'm starting this new show something's not right tonight um give me your input let me hear what you have to say about it uh we're always coming up with new ideas trying to come up with something that we can do during this time jam room will be back there'll be an update on that tonight um, stay tuned and uh, some of the other guys are going to jump in on here via webcam and give you their uh, thoughts on the whole situation. Um, as far as this show goes, we're going to be doing something a little strange, I guess. Um, I'm pretty much just grabbing audio and video from friends of mine around the internet and uh, we're just going to throw them up on this channel and talk about them and... I don't know, do some cross promotion and see how it all goes. Um, I got an interview tonight with a uh, pretty significant person, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, so stick around, we got uh, interviews, we got segments of shows, we've got jam room updates, we've got a ton of shit. All right, so first things first, let's get an update on the channel. Um, it's a brand new channel, uh, Something's Not Right Studios. Uh, kind of put it together with some friends of mine at work, and uh, our first show, Jam Room, is up now. Um, if you've been checking out, awesome. Thank you so much for the support. Um, we've gotten a lot of cool feedback from people. It's really silly, you know, stuff that we're doing, and it's not, it's very low quality, but... We're just kind of having fun putting it all together and uh, we love sharing that stuff with you guys and love hearing your uh, opinions on that kind of stuff so keep sending that stuff in um, sharing those videos we really appreciate that um, with that said there are a few statements from the guys that uh, I'll go ahead and put up right now so that you guys can hear from them um, as we're all kind of separated during the quarantine time the show will continue um, and thanks for thanks for watching my mind was blank I needed time to think To get the memories from my mind What did I see? Yo, what up you guys? This is Tommy I'm sure everybody in the world knows That we're all being fucked right now By uh, a viral infection That attacks the respiratory system Um... In response to that, we have had to slow down on our content, but we're going to be right back to it ASAP uh, as soon as all this shit starts slowing down and life starts going back to normal a little bit. We'll be right back at it. Thank you for watching our Jam Room episodes. We have a lot of fun making them. Uh, yeah, you guys, have a, you guys have a good rest of your day. Go get lit, go hang out with your friends and family, love each other. All right, peace. All right, so now that we've kind of got the channel updated out of the way, um, I guess on the show we're going to try to do some segments and uh, just see how it goes. So um, we'll see what you guys like and what you don't. And uh, I'm always interested. If you guys want to contribute, hit me up. Um, I'll put the uh, link below if you guys want to get in touch. So one of the first segments I'm going to try out is the HadyCast Happy Time with... Michael Harriman. He's a buddy of mine. Um, most of his content is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I guess the quick backstory would be he and I worked on this podcast called HadyCast years ago. Uh, he still kind of does stuff for it here and there. Uh, he moved to Haiti and he's a really interesting guy. So I'm going to show you some older stuff and then hopefully he'll contribute some newer stuff to the show after we get to know him a little bit on this. And yeah, so this is the uh, HadyCast clip of the week or month or however often I do these shows. We won't play a program the radio from twenty minutes. So so Columbus he yeah, so that's where I am. 
And uh, so we sailed. I didn't actually sail here. I came on an airplane. I've never, I've never really been on a sailboat around in the ocean here. I've really wanted to. There's a really cool island off the side here, but I haven't been able to do it. So welcome to uh, Columbus's home. And uh, yeah, they don't really look too highly upon Columbus here since he like chopped off many people's arms and stuff when they weren't getting him gold and. You know, he basically brought like disease and, and he killed the native population. But without Columbus, we wouldn't have all these people here. Like all these people are direct descendants from slaves. Haiti, and I'm sure I've mentioned this before, is the only black, successful black slave revolt. So they're the only ones that like won their freedom. And they actually, when they did win their freedom, they took over the whole island. So they had Dominican Republic. I'll give you guys some, something else to look at. So they had Dominican Republic, and they also had um, uh, Haiti, all in one island was theirs. And then the people from the Dominican Republic got ticked off, and they, they rose up, and they ended up overthrowing part of the island. So Haiti's got about a third of the western part of the island, and Dominican Republic's on the, the two-thirds of the eastern part. But uh, without, without Columbus, we wouldn't have had that. But we wouldn't have had uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, you know? Jack Sparrow, right? So we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I, 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 I don't know. So that's my buddy Mikey. And uh, like I said, he's, uh, he's an interesting guy in an interesting place. So it'll be interesting to throw those clips into this show um, weekly or monthly. I don't know how often I'm going to be doing the show right now. I've got plenty of time on my hands. So right now I'm just going to be kind of working on this here and there. Next up is a buddy of mine named Sean Rorick. He is a longtime friend, just like Mike Harriman. Actually, we kind of all grew up together. Um, but he does his own podcast. He lives up in Los Angeles. I'm down in San Diego. He lives up in Los Angeles. Um, he does a podcast where he gets in-depth about tons of stuff. So I encourage you to go check it out. But for the time being, on my show, I figured I'd steal some of his content, and we can all watch it together. So check it out. This is Sean's rant corner or something. So this is the weekly rant. You know, this has been kind of bubbling up with me a lot recently. Uh, I am pretty much a full-time stay-at-home dad with my kid. I have, I have a two-and-a-half-year-old at home. Uh, so during my during the day, that's what I'm doing. I I, I work on the podcast, the YouTube channel, uh, Sean and Work Live. That's all stuff I work on at night. Uh, maybe a little bit during the day if she's taking a nap or, you know, the half an hour that she gets to watch TV kind of every other day. Uh, for the most part, I, that's, that's what my days entail is, is taking care of a two-and-a-half-year-old. And a lot of that is, is taking the two-and-a-half-year-old out. We, we go on a walk uh, pretty much every day. Uh, we either go walk to the library, we'll go walk to the park. We do a good, like, two to three miles every day. Uh, helps keep me in shape. My, my kid loves going and riding around in the strollers. She loves running around at the park. She loves loves running around the library. It's kind of she is a bookworm, loves it. Uh, but I also live in Los Angeles, California. Live in Highland Park, very populated, popular and populated area of Los Angeles. And something that happens to me, almost, I, I don't even want to say almost. It happens on a daily basis. Is other drivers not paying attention? Now I realize this is one of those things you say. Well, yeah, the running stop signs and. And, and rolling through lights, whatever it might be, rolling through red lights on a right turn without actually stopping. Yes, I know these are all regular things. But even though it's regular things and we've all kind of accepted it as a, as a society, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. And here's the most important thing to remember about this. If, you, if you're one of those drivers that you're coming out of a driveway or whatever it is and you're not looking, uh, it, it, it's like two, threefold. First of all, you need to look both ways. I can't tell you how many times I'm coming to an intersection to cross uh, and I have the right of way as a pedestrian have the complete right of way, uh, and, and the driver's only looking one direction because that's the direction the cars are coming from. Here's the thing, you're going across a sidewalk area, you need to pay attention to people on the sidewalk as well. Constantly I yell at people, and I don't get into arguments with them, but I just, I, I'll be like, hey, you, you, you gotta get out of the way, it's, this is my right of way. The man is as passionate as his uh, beard is well trained. He's a uh, family man, he's a good man, uh, he's a friend of mine, I'm lucky to say that. Uh, Go check him out, and uh, we'll just continue to throw some of his more fun rants, or the ones that I enjoy, on this channel, and steal his content. Thanks, Sean. So as I said uh, at the opening of the episode, or maybe I didn't, depending on how I edited this video, um, 
I do have an exclusive interview with a pretty like worldwide celebrity. Um, this is definitely going to be controversial. It's going to be um, eye-opening, and um, I hope you guys are ready for this. All right, so now uh, calling in via telephone, um, we do have the uh, the world famous viral star, um, Mr. COVID nineteen. Hey, how you doing? Hey, uh, uh, how you doing? Mr. Uh, is, is that all right to call yeah, you? Yeah, call me Co. Co. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, call me um, so, Mr. Co. Um, what? We hear you're on a uh, world tour right now. Oh. Right, I'm right, famous, right. you know, I'm touring the world. Oh, yeah, yeah, your success is um, astonishing. Um, I'm a star. Yeah, you did You did have a, um, a, a very successful viral campaign. Um, oh, I went viral. You know, I, I, I am the virus. Like one, I feel like we've never seen. Oh, you never seen nothing like this, baby. Baby, I am the best today. Yeah, now, some people would call your fan base... Um, Unique, or um, some might say uh, polarizing. Uh, my fans are uh, the best. Yeah, yeah they're the some best. Some describe you as a, uh, a villain type. Uh, vil- those are the uh, die However, um, your popularity continues to soar. Yeah, you know, I call those the diehards. Those are the people that uh, they die, and then their body get be- they becomes hard, and then, uh, you know, they those are what I call the diehards. You know, eh, I don't really worry about them too much. They're not in the picture no more. All right. Well, thanks for calling into the show. Um, All right. Well, I, yeah, yeah, you know, I appreciate you letting me call in, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll keep in touch. We'll keep it. I'm busy. I'm busy right now, so we'll we'll keep in touch. All right. Thanks for calling. All right. So that's episode one. Thanks for joining me. Um, I hope to do these yeah, semi regularly, and uh, we'll try to put together a decent schedule for them. And, Hopefully we can get jam room and everything else going again. Um, maybe the guys will jump online and do some skits with me. We'll see. That's it. And the mortal words of Tommy from Jam Room. Uh, biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy.